Welcome to our next video. We talk about discounted payback period. Take a look at this. You buy a machine, you pay $5,000, get $2,000 in period one, $1,000 in period two, and so on and so on. Which means taking a look and talking about payback period, not the discounted payback period, but payback period is this, is the following. You add minus 5,000 to plus 2,000, leading to minus $3,000 in period one, which means waiting for one period, there is minus $3,000. Waiting two periods gives us minus 2,000. And waiting three periods means that you have plus $1,000, because you pay $5,000 and you get 2,000, 1,000, 3,000, which means you get $6,000 plus and plus $6,000 and minus $5,000 in period zero equals $1,000, which means payback period, not the discounted payback period, but the payback period equals three, because there is a plus sign for the very first time in period three. Now, $100 right now is not the same, not at all, as $100 in one year from now, because you need, you need to take a look at the discount rate. Because $100 right now, what do you think? $100 right now, what is this in one year from now if the discount rate is 8%? Exactly, you're right. It's equal to $108. So now, $2,000 in period one <clears throat> equals this, equals this amount of money. Because $2,000 divided by 1.08 equals this. $1,851 and $1,000 in year two, in the second year, equals this amount of money. And so on and so on. So now, if you sum up the discounted cash flows, you get the cumulative discounted cash flows. And taking a look at the cumulative discounted cash flows gives us that you need to wait three periods, you need to wait for three periods to get a positive sum, to get a positive cumulative discounted cash flow for the very first time. So the discounted payback period also equals three. That's important for now for, now, for you to understand.